Turner, senior season with Clemson. Uh, it's definitely an honor, you know. I think a lot of people are quick to write us off, but, you know, this whole year we just battled all types of adversity, and um, it's just special for me and Clyde, you know, definitely to get back here after our freshman year and what we accomplished. We've been hungry to get back to this stage, and now that we have the opportunity, we're definitely going to make the most of it. So it definitely means a lot for us and the school and uh, Coach Brunel. Hey, Amir, it's David Hood. I asked Clyde about, you know, going to a hotel, kind of being in that bubble for a tournament. He said it's a great bonding experience. You get whatever food you want. What is it like for you? You know, what is your experience doing this? Uh, me personally, I'm honestly not a fan. I do not sleep well in hotels and uh, I'm a homebody. So any uh, environment outside of my bedroom is very uncomfortable for me, but um, I got to put that aside and focus on the biggest picture here. But I think it's a great experience for all of us to know each other a little bit more, you know, on a personal level, you know, learn some things about each other and coaching staff at that. So um, it's definitely an opportunity to grow as a team and uh, even build a little more chemistry for those guys coming back next year. But uh, it's definitely fine. For sure. I'm here, Todd Summers with Channel 7 here. What do you remember about San Diego? I mean, you were such a young guy on that team with so many veteran guys. What do you now take going as a senior to the tournament that you learned when you were a freshman? How do you share that? First off, the weather out there was amazing. Uh, two, just the camaraderie with everyone, you know, the older guys, you know, not acting too big for the moment or trying to act like they were better than anyone on the team. You know, that was all of our first time going, I think, on that team that year. So we were all kind of new to it and uh, didn't have any experience. So we were just out there having fun and playing together. And that's something I'm going to try to, you know, take and uh, run with this team as well. You know, me and Cloud are only two on this entire team, I think, that's had a postseason experience within that, you know, field of being in the biggest tournament. But uh, we're definitely going to try to take some of those things we took from our freshman year, such as just bonding with the team and having fun and just, you know, reiterating the message of this is the biggest tournament in the world. And uh, everyone's watching this, so we just got to be comfortable and play our game. Here, kind of along the same lines, how different is this when you're when you're playing tournament games, when you're playing tournament teams, all the notoriety and exposure and everything? Just how different is it, and, and I guess how do you prepare for that? Um, it's definitely a lot more your know, mental. You know, you got to lock in a lot more because now you're playing the cream of the crop. You know, arguably, so um, it definitely takes another gear that you got to tap into physically and mentally and athletically. And I think, you know, our team can do that. And, you know, just taking it one, one game at a time and not getting too ahead of yourself and looking past any opponent, because any team that has made it to the 68 field uh, is obviously, you know, good enough to play in this. So you got to take everyone the same as you would a top seed or a low seed. So it's just taking every game for what it's worth and not getting too ahead of yourself. Hey, Amir, how do you get into that extra gear mentally? I mean, is there anything that you do for bigger bigger games differently than other games to get to that place? Um, honestly speaking, I kind of take like a Jordan approach to it. You got to find something that's going to get you going, even if you got to make something up in your head. But, you know, us being Clemson, a lot of people like to write us off really early. You know, that was something we experienced my first year. Uh, people picking New Mexico State to ups, uh, upset us and then even in the Auburn game. So just that alone was enough for us. And that's probably what something some people are going to do going into our game. And, you know, hopefully our team looks at that and takes that as a challenge. And, especially playing against the Big Ten earlier this year, you know, kind of got a feel for the physicality and things like that. So it was just about, you know, just find certain things that tick you off and just applying it to the game. Amir, when you see what just happened at the ACC tournament with Duke and with Virginia, and they think they're getting ready to play and then they're not, what's the message to your guys? And are you nervous when you take these tests now that, you know, if, if it doesn't go well, that you think you're going to play and then all of a sudden you don't? Um. It takes a extreme level of maturity, I think. I'm not saying that those respective teams didn't have mature guys and that they were just out there being reckless, but um, just watching that, you know, from the couch or whatever, you got to look at your guys and just, you know, reiterate their message of how important it is to stay out of contact with people that's not within our organization. If we are within the same, you know, proximity, then just kind of keep your distance if you can and just, you know, you can't take it for granted, you know, just like that, anyone's game could be wiped out from what happened to us when we was at the XCC last year, about to go against Florida State. So we already know the feeling and it's still a sour feeling to this day. So um, hopefully guys remember that and, you know, try to stay out of harm's way so we can play as much basketball as we can. Hey, the physicality of the Big Ten, how, how much have you guys um, heard about the, the Big Ten this year? Do you have any thoughts or, or know much about Rutgers? Um. I mean, it's not like we really scouted them, but, 
you know, we play against a big team, team every year. So we kind of know what to expect because most teams in the same conference are going to play very similar. We know from playing against Maryland or Nebraska or Minnesota or Ohio State in my four years that it's going to be a physical game. And uh, it's about X's and O's and who's going to value the ball a little bit more because that's what it comes down to. Amir, you, you tweeted something after the ACC tournament about people sending you some, some bad messages and talking about you personally and some members of the team. Considering everything that you guys went through this summer, that, that everybody went through, that's disappointing to hear, first of all. But, you know, what would your message be to those people that, that send you that, that type of, of crap? Um, it's honestly no hard feelings, you know, at the end of the day. You know, people, a lot of it we know it comes from people uh, betting on games, stuff like that. And uh, you just gotta, you just pray for them. You know, anytime I do get a crazy message, I always just find if I do that, I'm gonna pray for them. And uh, I look past the words they say. Sometimes some people are gonna take it a little far. And um, it's mainly only me and Clyde to get those messages, but you just gotta respond a, a very, you know, you gotta take the high road every time and you can't let what they say affect you. And if you do let what they say affect you, then you know, they're winning. And you don't wanna see them win. You don't let them feel that satisfaction of seeing you down. So the most you can do is just pray for them. And uh, hopefully they have a change of heart. And, and that's all you can do. You can't do no more than that. What What's an example of maybe one of the worst ones that you've received? Uh, I'm not going to really make a comment on that because um, that's just not really smart to do. You know, it's uh, under the it's, uh, water under the bridge for me. I uh, kind of look at those things and delete them. And uh, I'm not going to really call anyone out. It's not the type of person I am. And it's not the type of program that we run here. So i uh, just going to keep praying for them. And hopefully they'll stop. It doesn't, it's kind of, it, come, come, it comes with the game basically. And uh, you just got to be expecting that sometimes after a performance. But those people, you got to know that we're human at the end of the day. And it's a, it's a game at that. So, um, like I said, I'm going to pray for them. But I won't make any comments on the things that me and Clyde get sent to our phones. When, when you're, do you feel you're like you pray for them? How do they respond usually when they, if they do respond? I wouldn't know. I just believe it. So. Amir, do you feel like a seven seed was fair for the body of work that this team put out there? Oh, most definitely. I think uh, the committee did a great job of just respecting our resume and the hard work that we put in into this year, you know, just looking at the teams that we beat and how they went on to uh, perform throughout the season. And uh, I think a seven was really, really good for us to put us in the right place. Um, other than being one of those other seeds that got a really tough game out the gate or in the second round. So it definitely gave us a little bit more leeway than other teams. But I definitely think that uh, they did a good job of putting us at a seven. So shout out to them. Amir, uh, can you take me back to this summer and just what it was like when you guys came back? And I'm sure it was really hard to envision what things were going to look like from a practice perspective, games. I mean, at that point, was it hard to conceive of the NCAA tournament even happening when there was so much uncertainty just about getting going? Um. From our side of things in our program, I don't think we ever really registered the a point of that we probably wasn't going to have a postseason. You know, I think everybody that's in college basketball loves the game and wants to play the game. So a lot of people are going to do what they can to make sure that that happens, players and coaches. And obviously things are going to happen along the way and you're going to face the adversity. But I think every team that came into the season knew what was at stake and uh, try their best to kind of stay out of harm ways. And sometimes you can't avoid it, but uh, we never once thought that it wasn't going to be a postseason or a season at all. We kind of figured that it would be a, some type of season. I think the NCAA did a great job on, uh, you know, giving guys the opportunity to play the game they love. And uh, like I said, we just never really thought that it was going to be a situation where we wasn't going to play. Probably have time for one or two more if anyone has one. Amir, when it comes to the NCAA tournament, is it more about getting a good scout or just, just playing your brand of basketball? Um, it's definitely a mixture of both, you know, they both go hand in hand, but at the end of the day, you could scout as much as you want or, you know, practice the team as much as you want. But at the end of the day, you got to play your game because if you're, you're going onto the court to play your game, opposed to like playing down to someone or playing to match how they play, you're not going to be successful. And playing our game is what got us to a seven C in the first place. And we're not going to change that for anybody. Any more questions for Amir? Okay. Thank you, guys.